Gather around, island lovers. It's Demi and Jasmine with your fire pit chat. Your daily dose of all things Love Island. This episode is brought to you by Everybody Co. Everybody Co. is a female-owned bodysuit brand focused on fit, comfort, and quality. It was started to fix the uncomfortable problem many have with bodysuits that are too short and ride up while wearing or or are a pain to get on and off when you go to the bathroom. Each size comes in a regular and long body length for those with a larger bust or a longer torso. It comes in sizes extra small through extra long, snap crotch closure at the front for your bathroom ease. The soft fabric is made of 95% cotton, 5% spandex, and thick enough that everybody can't see through it. Packaging and accessories are sustainable. Everybody Co. bodysuits are made for every body. Shop bodysuits and more at shopeverybodyco.com and use promo code FIREPITCHAT for 10% off. And the bodysuits are sick. I'm wearing one right now. It fits No, like, and I'm so loving good. the neckline. It just looks so it's good. It's the perfect neck. Like, you know when you want, like, a crew neck, but you don't want it to look scoop? Almost scoop. Ew, yeah. Hate a scoop. It doesn't work or for Or you, me. like, see your, like, bra strap. Like, <laughs> yes. And it's, like, Dude, perfect. you look perfect. It snatches you. Yeah. Like, my arms? Snatched. Oh, my God. You look fire. Yeah, I'm excited about it. I have the it. black. I kind of want the white now. No, I want the black. Okay, so... I'm so pissed that we started off this episode with no drama aftermath. They just like, poof, gone. It, it's like they were in the middle of the conversation and then they just, next day, like totally ignored it. Didn't I even was finish that convo. so pissed. The way that you're going to leave us hanging and then not even address it ever again. So bizarre. Ugh, I hated that. And then it was just. It just showed Kai and Ron talking about how Kai wants a chat with Liv. Like, are you believing the storyline? Yo, I was going to say, what do you think about Kai and Liv? I don't know what I'm hearing and seeing and watching. Like, I'm wondering. Like, I do. Oh, so I heard a podcast with um, Jay. And wasn't he the one who came in with Jax? Jay. Yes, that's the one who's boring that I was trying to remember his name. (laughs) Exactly. I saw him on a podcast clip and I was like, oh my God, that's who we were trying to remember. Yes. And honestly, in this podcast clip, he looked so hot. Like I truly believe that they're way hotter in person. Yes, I think so. Because on this podcast, I was like, holy shit. And that was his thing last season. He was like hot, but he was so boring. He brought nothing. Yeah. And he was saying that the producers almost like make you go talk to people. Like he's like, I didn't want to pursue Ekin. Like I will. Oh, right. And so now I'm like, I'm just, I'm such a conspiracy theorist. Like I am the biggest conspiracy theorist. Like, so I'm like, so like, are, is this a storyline? Since a live is an actress, mm-hmm. a live, a <laughs> live. I don't know which one I'll to call live. her. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> is an actress. Like, I'm like, is she just like playing this role now? It seems so out of left field. Mm-hmm. I don't know. And they're pushing it so hard. They're force feeding us with Olivia and Kai. And right. So, and they're trying to act like this was always a thing. And Kai has the biggest smile. I'm like, bro, she have been there the whole time. How about this? How about the past two episodes? Everyone being so obsessed with Sammy and no one could give less than shit about Sammy. We wake up and she's just gone. I don't get that. I think she doesn't give any of the boys the the time of day so they just don't even want to be rejected like that but I don't understand why like why wasn't why doesn't Spencer go for Sammy agreed like I mean I don't think Sammy gives anything I think she's really fucking pretty yeah she is banging Mm -hmm. and I'm just so confused at like where was the where was the Sammy and Ron fizzling out or it's like we're, all we're seeing is Ron flipping back to Lana again, and it, we didn't see any anything with Sammy, how it undone. Like, the editing, dude. It's like... Yeah. It's like we're missing episodes. Yeah. We're either missing episodes or people are faking interest in people. Like, and I don't know what it is. I don't know why Ron would fake that. And I don't know why Ron would just not even try with Sammy now that Lana has someone. I know. I, it's I, so, like, what is fucking going on, dude? Oh, my God. The way that I want Ron... Like, I'm like, the public, listen, it's time to vote. vote him I out. can't vote. <laughs> vote him off the island. Get him the fuck out I'm of so there. I'm so done with him trying to pull Lana back into his little 
trenches like let her go let her fly away those are the worst guys like you're not that into her and you won't let her move on like you're so mean it's just let ego. her go is ego like oh i'm gonna win i'm gonna win i'm gonna win her back oh it's game on it's like this isn't a game dude yeah. don't you like this girl and stop saying like i'm not worried like we'll get into that um i'm just gonna follow the path of the episode sure. But Lana and Tanya come back, Tanyelle, and then they get Olivia and Sammy, and Sammy's dress was just, like, so good. Like, she looked stunning. Oh, with the little ruffles? Yes. I love, I love a ruffle. Silhouette. Yeah, me too. And then the dates are cute. Sammy and Jordan's very cute, but Sammy, you know, might be the only girl on the planet who's turned off by a guy <laughs> wanting to settle down and have kids. <laughs> like... Also, you're on the wrong show. Like, we're all supposed to be here to find love, Sammy. <laughs> I know, Sammy. Like, what like, are you here for? Like, Sammy's actually flank? here for here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's here for clout. Clearly. 100%. The moment the guy said, oh, I'm ready to settle down and have kids, like, oh, no, I think we want different things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you want to fucking have fun. You want your Instagram to grow. Yeah, she's like, oh, um, that's so funny. I'm, work- I'm looking for Instagram followers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working toward a blue check, and I don't think you're going to come. <laughs> you're going to get me there. And so then Casey and Liv, which I don't even want to entertain that. No, forget but it. But Casey was flirting, and I'm just like, Casey, no. Casey's a little bit of a flirt, though. He is. He's cheeky. Do you know what? If I was stuck in that villa, mm-hmm. Casey is who I would go for. Really? Yeah. He's giving me greasy. You know, he's giving me, I feel like he's a hockey player. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why you're into it. <laughs> he is looking like he just got done skating and took off his helmet and like his hair is all greasy. Facts. He does, and he's short and like kind of stumpy a little bit. He yeah. has big thighs. Like I'm gonna. <laughs> Duh, I should have. Of course, he's Debbie's guy. Dude, I'm gonna actually show Mike and be like, "Is this guy a hockey player?" Because he'll know by the moment he sees a player, like a body. Oh, because okay. they have thick legs, right? Because of the skating, right? And he just reminds me, like that is actually. I'd, I'd probably go for Spencer or Casey, like short, mm-hmm. stumpy. Yeah. Spencer's almost a little too skinny for the me, lettuce. dude. You like the hair. I don't like... Wait, Spencer. I think uh, Casey's skinnier than Spencer, but mm. Spencer's taller. No, I think Spencer's like more swimmer lean. Not swimmer body, <gasps> yeah, yeah, but yeah, like kinda. lean. Yeah. Because in the voting pick... I, oh. it's, you can't go off the voting pick. No, but hold on. All the guys are like... Here's like almost like nipples up, and Spencer's <laughs> got all the way down to his penis lines. I was like, Where are you? I've never seen those. Like, I didn't even know his body looked like that. His pants are so low, and they got his whole body in the voting pick. And every every guy else is like, First ab layer up. First ab layer up. <laughs> yeah. I haven't seen abs in so long. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> I'm like, That's what that looks like. <laughs> Preferably, I like my men more beefy than with more abs. Oh my god, I would. I can't date a guy with abs. Yeah, yeah. That's why for t- me. Casey just feels. I don't know. I'm digging it. I gotta chill. I think Spencer was looking you, so cutie tonight with his glasses and the hair was like oh. slicked back. He figured out the hair. Someone gave him some nice pomade. <laughs> and thank he's you got for that the person. he's got the um grease stick. Have you seen the girls oh, who yeah. put the? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I need to get one of those for my when my hair is greasy, but I need it to look like I made it that way. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? Exactly. Like for the slick bag, it's like that the bomb. Yeah. Glue. They call it like hair glue. glue. Yeah, because it does look like a glue stick. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I'm really into that, and yeah, Spencer did look really hot. He is really hot. Very hot. I'd probably want him and Casey. Like those are the two guys. Mm-hmm. Who would you go for? And Jordan, honestly, I, I'll go for Jordan. I love Jordan. Like, mixed race child. Like, my dreams yeah. might have come true if I went on Love dream. Island. I really like Jordan. I would definitely, Spencer's, like, the most attractive to Jordan's me. Jordan's got Riz. Jordan has the Riz, dude. Major Riz. Riz. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's how the kids do it. They don't do riz. that. They're literally that, like. I just showed my age. <laughs> Exactly. Oh my God. (laughs) And so then Olivia and Jordan have a convo, which that was really cute. Like, I do think that they're both older, Mm -hmm. ready to settle down, even though this will be her first settling down. But yeah, I I mean, to me, like I just dated, I had flings. I didn't date, only dated my eighth grade boyfriend. Right. And then now Mike. 
Yeah, so like what? maybe that's what she meant is a serious boyfriend because we've all had situationships that there in your head they're your boyfriend. Exactly. But in real life, you guys are just like seeing each other. I guess that's on, also true for me. Like I've only had one real long-term boyfriend exactly. and then Clark. Which honestly, like I rather you guys, you be in a million situationships Same. before being like in, se- oh, I've had seven boyfriends. It was like, then that's on you. Like something's not yeah. right because then you just date anybody. Yeah. And in the situationships, you learn from them yeah and you don't need to waste a bunch of years like if you're having a i'm sorry a boyfriend for three months isn't a boyfriend like Facts. a boyfriend is someone you dated for uh, over a year 100 percent. and i've had situationships longer than that yeah <laughs> and so then jesse casey chose jesse which i think was just like a safe play i that think was he, weird i think he wasn't i think he's just interested in lana to be honest and i think he just like threw in a girl but then she friend zoned him yeah, I love how she friend zoned him. It's so good. And then everyone's when I was like, see, Ron, that's how easy it is to tell someone they're not interested. It's that easy. Or Tom, too. Which, the way that Tom wasn't even in this episode. Uh, yeah, Tom's floating into oblivion. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and so I guess it's nighttime now, and then Lana and Casey have a chat, dude. The way that, that I'm teasing. Yeah, me too. I'm sitting there like, oh my god, like I literally can't. Now I'm invested so much in Casey and Lana. It's mm-hmm. sickening. Yeah, it, it's unhealthy for me. It's unhealthy, dude. And I swear to God, I better not have a broken heart. Like I'm I know. No. And if she goes back to Ron, like movie night needs to come and Casey still needs to be around. Yeah, because if Lana goes back to Ron, like I think I'm done with Ron and Lana, dude. The way that I'm ed- they're editing it. I feel like they almost want Ron off because they're really making us hate him. Also, I think that's why, to cut to the future, we vote for our favorite boy and one boy's going to go home. And I think the public knows or the producers know the public doesn't like Ron. And I think they do want Ron gone because I think they want Lana to flourish. Right. But this is thinking positively. I because then I think it, it might be bottoms because this Ron and Kai situation ship that they're having where they think like they're these top alpha dogs yeah. and they're the coolest guys in there. And it's like, yo, you can't even listen to each other's shit. No, no other guys listen to your shit. We don't want to listen to it. Like this all high and mighty like thing that they think that they're in. Mm-hmm. I hate it. Yeah. I hated Ron making Lana breakfast and being like, oh, yo, if you're going to get on job – First of all, shut the What's fuck up. the job? I know. I'm trying to figure that <laughs> all out. All the memes like, say on job again. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Like, every time they say it, I cringe a little, dude. Exactly. And Ron just like, oh, we're going to have to work hard for that. And, and then Ron, okay, I'm getting ahead of myself because the whole time, like, I'm talking to the computer, like. <sighs> no, literally my face watching Ron on my screen. My face watching Casey and Lana. Yeah, exactly. Oh, my God. And everybody like feels that way. Like, everybody on the public, like, is like, no, like, she can't go back to Ron. She can't go back to Ron. Please choose Casey. Like, everyone feels it. And I really do genuinely think, like, I genuinely have not seen Lana happy with Ron. Like, yeah. this is your future Lana, by the way. Right. This is two weeks in. This is your this is your future plus worse. Because now you're going to – you're probably going to move in together. And then mm-hmm. you're going to – oh, my God. If it's not 100% good now – it's never going to be good. Yeah. Especially like when they come out of the villa and the tests are going to be the Instagram DMs Ron gets, all the girls throwing themselves to him at the club because he has a tiny bit of clout. Like it's only his tests are only going to be worse. 100%. 100%. And I can see Casey and Lana coming out being really normal. Like I just mm-hmm. don't feel like they're there for, for fame. Like I just feel like they'll be normal. Like she'll go to his hockey games and they'll be cute. <laughs> 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 and she looks like a hockey uh, wag, too. So true. Okay, and so then Shaq and Ron have a talk. They're both apologetic. And I guess Ron's saying he wants Lana and not Sammy, which, again, I got so confused at that. Like, no, you don't, Ron. You just want safety. And now Lana might choose someone else, and you don't know if Sammy will choose you. I don't know what is his that- game is. Because you could pursue Sammy. And lock that in. Exactly. Because she doesn't have anyone else. No, she has no one. So I'm so confused. Like, where did we go wrong? Last episode, Kai and Ron were both fighting for her. Right. And now neither of them want anything to do with her. I don't get it. Dude. And so Ellie and, oh, Spencer and Liv did it. Yeah. Yeah. 
And then Ellie and Jordan have good chat. Liked that. Okay. Ellie's into Jordan. Did you see her in the hut? Yeah. So she cute. Was, and he's into her. Yeah. He said it the next morning. They vibed. I really felt like they vibed. Like it was, and I just think Ellie and Jordan both have that charismatic personality. Like I really think I fell in love with whoever Ellie was talking to yeah. because I think she's just one of those girls who can talk to any guy. Yeah. And I think he's the same way. So I think both of them together, mm -hmm. I'm really fucking shipping them. They have the riz, as the kids call it, Demi. <laughs> you are making us <laughs> so lame, bro. <laughs> okay, so then Lana and Ron are having a convo again. And it's, again, lots of words in Lana saying... Lana made a bold statement in the hunt and said, if things continue with her and Casey, I don't know if there's a her, her and Ron. I like that sentiment. I loved that. Yeah. I really don't think, like, I think it's done. Like, it kind of seems like, I mean, your your situation now, like, when I'm looking at their chat, like, you're you're much happier with Casey. And you have something to talk about with Casey. So what are you, what are you holding on for? I'm so confused because it doesn't even look fun anymore. Exactly. But do you know when you just, it's like that guy that you wanted to like you and now he's finally seeming like he comes around. So it's so hard for you to let it go, even though, you know, it's not good for you because you just want to win. Yeah. It could be something like that for her. And I think everybody wants to tell her. Yeah. Everyone's either, well, I guess they're starting to. Um, and so I guess I think it ended that night. It was so fast. Like nothing happened. Yeah, nothing happened really. And then the next morning, Jordan saying he might be into Ellie. And then Casey saying that he thinks him and Lana. Um, I feel like, oh, he said him and Lana like have a good connection. Mm -hmm. So I think he's into her. And then Ron starts doing that whole weird, gross breakfast thing. And... I was saying how I hated how they were doing that. Like, quit acting like you all that. Quit acting like that. Right. If this is the first time you're <gasps> oh, making her no, breakfast. no, 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 no. This comment that Ron said oh. to Lana mm -hmm. and goes, like. He, In the nighttime? No, the daytime. Okay. Where he's like, I'm going to, like, fight. I'm going to fight and I'm going to win. And then he goes, it's just I've never been in this position before. Yes. yes. And she goes, Okay. Yeah. What exactly? You, 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 oh my god! I actually have no words. Like, he. Do you think you sound cool, bro? Right, and like, and Lana, do you want that? Do you want this fucking yeah. little dude? He's so mature. You need a man with thighs, <laughs> dude, <laughs> and a hockey stick. <laughs> Imagine that hair and a helmet, dude. Like, <laughs> just a little wisps coming and out. I'm the like bottom really of the digging his face. Like I'm really digging no, his face. No, he's a cutie. He has yeah. great teeth too. For a but nose hockey eyes. player, I don't know. He might not be that good because he all has all his teeth still. Are they fake? They looked Dr. kind of they looked kind of real. They, <laughs> they looked did real look real to me. I didn't get a good close up, but they did look real. They looked real to me. Mouth guard. True. But yeah, I don't I don't actually know a hockey player who has his real teeth. Right? Yeah. All of them? And like so pristine. Like his teeth looked nice. They looked perfect. Yeah. But I don't know. I feel like they don't play hockey The over teeth there. on me and Casey's baby would just be... Is that his name, Casey? Yeah. Why did I just think... Because you know what? I immediately thought of Yellowstone. You don't watch oh, that. Oh, yeah. No, but I know who Casey is. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I immediately picture myself with that Casey. Oh, no. Um, yeah. So that's the conversation. Yeah. Um, I think that that says it all there. Ron's doing this for ego. He doesn't want to lose a girl to a guy or make him feel less than. And Ron, you are less than. So just accept it and move on. We'll all be happier. And also, exactly, like you're insulting. Know your audience, bro. If you're going to say like, I've never been in this position before, say it to Kai. Exactly. Say it to your bro. Say it to your players. Say it to your play players. <laughs> Gross. I I can't stand Ron anymore. And like, They're I'm, both going to be at the bottom. Yeah, good. But Bye. my fear is Goodbye. that my fear is that Ron is stuck in the bottom and like they save him. I know because he's a but like if Ron and Kai are in the bottom, you think they'd save Ron over Kai? Um Tanyelle would. Exactly. And all the girls are scared of Tanyelle. Wow, I don't get that. Yeah. She's all bark, no bite. 
I'm so over that chick. Me, honestly, me too. The fact that I even thought I liked her for a second. <laughs> goodbye. Yeah. And so then Will reads the text and he's like, he was so funny reading that ta- text. He's like, it's, I'm <laughs> gas. <laughs> he's so funny. And I'm so like Olivia, like you guys better go brush your teeth. Like, mm-hmm. and then they're all in the bathroom brushing their teeth. That was so funny. <laughs> The thought of making out with all of them in a row, like, actually repulses me. I would die. First of all, I could not even watch that competition. Like, there was a hand up in between. Is there always that much tongue? I don't know. In in the way, I'm like, I don't think I, I would have gotten, like, solid twos across the board. Like, I don't think I'm, like, a big, go up to your face, make out tongue to, to, like, my. Like, the guy I wanted to. To my mates? I could never. right, Right. Like, to guys who I wouldn't, I'd probably kiss on the cheek. Like. Yeah. Yeah, or like packed. kiss all of them on the cheek and then the and then Spencer. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'd hit Tom. I'd hit Spencer. I'd hit Casey. Casey, yeah, that's who I'd hit. If Adam Collard was there, forget about it. Burn. He'd be like, "This competition's starting in the bedroom." <laughs> <laughs> but I did enjoy the Nicki Minaj song when Tanya was going like F R E, and then Tanya was crazy. So, and I was like, I wonder if they had chubs. <laughs> I'm sure. Like, Lana was like licking guys necks. I'm like, Lana, are you okay? I closed my eyes. I didn't actually watch so Lana. Don't. It's it's like my daughter. Like I actually yeah. can't Sweetie, handle that. Up. And so then all the girls were talking about how Ron and Tanyelle's kiss was extra long. And then Liv pulls Lana to tell her her mm-hmm. concerns. And then Tanyelle in the hut being like, well, he's my best mate. I feel comfortable. It's like, yeah, you're, you're the best friend that I, you're. Like we said. You're the problem. You're the one to watch out for. Totally. Because I know I have guy friends, and I can tell you right now, I wouldn't kiss them for the longest. Out. If I had to kiss a guy friend, I wouldn't kiss them long. So true. I'd give them a little peck. So true. Like, yeah, like, you can probably make... It's like when we did in high school, you know, everyone made out with everyone. Totally. What <laughs> like, did we do me that? and Mike, because like, yo, you want to make out? <laughs> <laughs> and we'd make out, it was like fire. We're like, dang. <laughs> But he was like, you're also drunk. You're also like yeah. f- friends with them. You've known them forever. And you're at a party. Like this is like. Yeah, but. This there's is daytime. There's <laughs> there's underlying. I'm, I like you. I'm attracted to you vibes. And when it's like kind of like. Even this when is you did the that only time we can really have justification for kissing. Exactly. It's like we don't have to say I like you. It could just be like I finally get to kiss the guy I like and it could just be hey, we're like so silly. So true. You know, but this was like you you didn't have to go that hard. Yeah. I I my eyes were closed, but I'm I'm just hoping these little nuggets keep going to Lana like mm-hmm. it seems like the editing is doing that. It seems like it's really painting Ron in a bad light. So yeah. I just pray that they're doing it on purpose. Yeah. I just really think I think we're all hoping that her and Casey power through. From what I'm seeing, I can't imagine that it, she goes back to Ron and just like what you're like. I don't know, dude. I'm kind of so nervous. I feel like if she does go back to Ron, it's just going to be them like sitting on the loungers, like not talking, which is all their relationship is until a new girl comes in and he's going to drop Lana like a. Oh my God. And Casa, dude. Just like, like, are you trying to ride this out until Casa? Like, yes. you might as well go with Sammy. I don't understand why he doesn't go with Sammy. Yeah. Something, he must not be getting a vibe from Sammy. I don't know. Something I, I really weird happened. Know. Like, yeah. I might tune in to Unseen Bits just so I can see what happened during the day. Yeah. And then, um, so that thing with Shaq and Tanya, like, what do you think about that? Um, he's crazy, but all the boys are hyping him up. And Ron is such a little fucking shitster. Like, no, you need to do that. No, that was fucked up. Like, you have to. Like, he's such a shitster. What is your... Get him off of my fucking screen. Seriously. I think Ron... Bring Zara want- back and <laughs> take Ron. Let's do a trade. Seriously. Yeah. I think that Ron doesn't want any strong couples because it makes him look better if all these couples have problems. Mm. So I think that's what it is. I, I also... If Shaq was so mad that Tanya went hard with all the guys, but he rated, he was like, that was a 10. I would give it more if I could when Tanya kissed him. Right. So then you're saying you're shocked it was her. 
because all the guys rated her high. Uh-huh. So then what girl were you thinking you could rate a 10? So Do you get, true. I don't know if I'm making sense yeah. here, but I'm just saying if you're so mad she gave all the guys passionate kisses and you didn't think it would be her, then who did you think you were giving a 10 to? Because then you're rating a girl higher than her in your mind. So true. And also it's just like small dick energy to be mad that she's a good kisser with all the guys. I think Shaq is just like a fatherly figure and he just like has to be on his pedestal at all times. And it's like, no, nah, you're not going to embarrass me like that. Like yeah. sounds like my dad, like, no, this is not embarrass me. Yeah. You it's know what I mean? Like secure though, major insecure. And it, it was, it's, I'm with it's Tanya. It's controlling. It's, the it's scary. Yeah. Like, yes. Possessive. It's possessive. It's like, Tanya Your mind seems and like a mind. club rat too. Yes. And like, yo, Tanya, like that's him going to be at home or he's going to be like at the fucking end of the yeah. wall staring at her. Like it's the worst kind no, of guy no, 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 to no, be no. with. Actually so possessive. This is like major red flags. Major red flag. And all the guys, Tom's like, yeah, no, I mean, yeah, you're right. It's like they, you all want to say they're, he's not, he's fine. Like he's overreacting, but they see the way Shaq fucking snaps back. So maybe Ron's trying to play nice to Shaq. Yeah. Like, Ron could be playing nice to... Sh- now, I don't know. Like, is Ron that calculated? It's yeah, hard when you're not a calculated think. person to, uh, like, try to imagine someone being that calculated. Yeah. I don't know. Like, I guess I am just assuming the worst in Ron in all situations. I mean, he's showing it. He's, like, disgusting. But I think he likes when there's other problems because it just lessens the spotlight on him. I guess you're right. And then I guess it just ended on that, which I'm really, I'm still hurt that we didn't unpack that Shaq and Ron drama. And I wish Lana came back while they were arguing. Yeah. I wish it got back to Lana somehow. But she did wake up seeming happy. (laughs) This is literally becoming a Lana I know. (laughs) We like the other Islanders too. I'm like really invested in Casey and Lana. Me too. I'm so invested I think Spencer and Sammy could be really hot. I think just I Sammy's Spencer. just not here to, to be with anybody. Like, yeah, I just that's why I think the guys aren't going for her. Because, I mean, you you can see her face when she does talk to every guy. She seems like she doesn't want to be there. I know. So I'm sure the guys pick up on that. Yeah. So we'll see how tomorrow unpacks. Like, do you think they're going to kick someone off tomorrow? No. Yeah, because they're voting tonight. Is that how it works? I thought, no, no, no. Sometimes it's like two to episodes you're later. You're right. You're right. I bet you it's Sunday. Yeah. They're going to give us another day because something's going to switch, but they've already, this is what I'm saying. Like they've already plotted the one episode to get you to vote bad people. And Uh I bet you next episode, Ron's probably not going to be as bad and someone else is going to piss us off way fucking more. Uh And they're going to stay because the editing had us vote on the day that made Ron look so bad. Right. Like people forgot about Aaron. Right. I think the favorite guys are probably, like, I really think it'll be Shaq. The favorites. Yeah. hmm And then I think it'll be... Um, Will. Will. Oh, my God. Duh. And Casey, I'm praying. Oh, but Casey and Jordan are safe, so we're in the clear. No one I care about is going to go home. Yeah, I'm feeling good about it. Yeah. Okay, so then we'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Where we do some... <laughs> don't don't tease it okay yeah. but just know I'm that so our, excited. our happy hour has a fun little surprise you ahead. look so snatched in this like and i'm just like this beast in this sweater <laughs> like look how sna- tiny you look bro it's the bodysuit everybody go snatch ya okay everybody thank you for listening to fire pit chat your daily dose of all things love island i'm your host demi and this is jasmine and we appreciate you listening if you're watching on youtube feel free to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up we're also available as a podcast wherever you get your podcast. So be sure to listen and leave us a five-star review. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.